Good morning, I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti alla puttanesca. Spaghetti alla puttanesca is an Italian pasta dish. This is my go-to recipe when I'm craving for a quick, tasty, and aromatic meal. I love this dish. It's rich and flavorful. The ingredients are simple and yet, the strong flavor of garlic, capers, olives, and anchovies when combined with a good sweet tomato sauce makes this food super delicious. So, let's get started! Good morning! I'm Eko and welcome to Eko's Kitchen! Here are the ingredients. 200 grams of spaghetti pasta, 2 cans of tomato sauce, 3 pieces of anchovy fillets, 3 cloves of garlic, 2 tablespoons of capers, half a cup of Kalamata olives, a tablespoon of olive oil, salt and pepper, parsley, and a pinch of dried chili flakes. Thinly slice of the garlic. Chop the parsley and cut the Kalamata olives in half. In a wok over medium heat, add some olive oil. Then, add the garlic and anchovies. Stir just until the anchovies are dissolved. Add the chili flakes and continue to mix. Add the capers and Kalamata olives, then stir. Turn the heat to medium low and add the tomato sauce. Mix well, then cover and cook for about 10 minutes until the sauce is reduced. Now in a large pot, bring water to a boil and then add a tablespoon of salt. Cook the pasta for 7 to 8 minutes. When the sauce is nicely thick and the pasta is ready and al dente, transfer the cooked pasta straight into the sauce. Mix well to combine. Add some chopped parsley, then season with some salt and pepper. Mix all the ingredients together. Taste the sauce to adjust, then turn off the heat. Transfer to a serving plate and garnish with some parsley. There are several variations of patanesca. Some version is prepared without anchovies. If you're not a fan, you can totally skip it. However, I recommend trying this recipe with anchovies first because it adds a bit of fish and salty punch to the dish. Spaghetti alla puttanesca is a full-flavored pasta dish with strong and punchy flavors that you and your loved ones will absolutely love. I hope you'll give it a try and let me know how it turns out. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!